Hello, everybody. It's Zizzy Medhaven here tonight. And, uh, well, actually, I say tonight, but I really mean, like, for this entire video. You probably already know by the title of what this is going to be. And I'll tell you right now, none of it's even hooked up. I have to... I got everything set up real fast <laughs> just to, you know, get this going. But I'm kind of hoping that I don't have any driver problems whenever I try to plug everything back into my system. So, starting off, mouse and keyboard. Um, I would say year and something ago I um, so Moshi I am so sorry if I completely bombed your name but it is what it is I am sorry has been um, talking to me the past couple of days asking about uh, mouse and keyboard it's I've had a couple of times that I've replied um, especially whenever people jump in and they'll ask a couple questions and this one was 23 hours ago and I essentially replied immediately 23 hours ago I was just being really nice about this um, but this is something that I've mentioned on my channel before, that if you guys have a question, it doesn't matter, like, if you're on a separate video that's, like, a year old, or you're doing something else that's, like, forever old. Um, I mean, if I'm getting, like, a massive influx of people asking, then it will take a minute for a reply. But this is something that I like to offer on my channel, because for me, I work rotating shifts, which kind of means that I am able to reply um, at certain hours of the day randomly throughout the year uh, one month i'll be working the night shift one month i'll be working afternoon and one month i'll be working day shift or it could be like i work day shift for two days and i go back to graveyard immediately and then i think to myself oh and then i go back to swing like a week later um those are the fun ones other than that i'm gonna have to tear apart everything and um yeah get it all hooked up i'm probably gonna rotate the camera too uh, Maybe, maybe not. It just depends. I might put an overview of mouse and keyboard right here, and you guys can laugh at me whenever you see my fingers going all fatty over here and clicking stuff. Um, but one thing I would like to share, I actually cannot remember what model this is, but I do run with some nicer stuff as I'm opening links and everything else on the wrong end. Ooh, minimize. There we go. But Corsair and all of my buttons. Okay. One thing is, this is not a Razer product. Corsair primarily does a lot of the save profiles for your additional layouts on the computer itself and the hard drives. So I'm actually kind of wondering today if we're going to be able to keep this 1 through 12 and find out what the last couple are. So I know that 1, 2, and 3 should be ammunition. 4, 5, and 6 should be consumable-wise. But then I want to see if I can get 7 through 12 mapped. If so, that means that higher-end mouses will be supported and if not we can always put in a request and kind of hope that they add in a little bit of a save file system to try and help um get that going other than that i've got to get underneath my desk and i really don't want to i also don't know what's what so there's a chance i'm gonna unplug something that should not be unplugged and uh this is gonna be all a waste of time uh i have Really high hopes that I don't, but fingers crossed. Okay, so one of the number one things that I was afraid of, which is uh, bumping my XLR, because this thing's really sensitive. Like, if I tap my mic, it will just, everything will crash. All the audio, everything will crash. Like, I just touch my wire that connects my... Speak of the devil, and it starts to do things. But just touching, like, a little wire, like... Lift, literally just lifting up in my aux cord crashes it. I don't know why. I do know this though. That was easy to plug in. It's turning on. Let's find out what goes. I have wires everywhere. Uh, mouse. Keyboard. This wire is freaking long for the keyboard. But that's the way I like it. Uh, originally, I was going to do like a um, CJ79. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, CJ79 is a monitor that Samsung makes. And it's a monitor that you can basically, you need a H.8 brain, you need a brain, an HDMI 2 point something, 2.4, or like maybe in display 1.4, and I have a display 1.4, but then it allows you to plug in your mouse and keyboard to that directly. And it would just be so much easier to do that. Oh, speaking of which, I actually have a Bluetooth mouse upstairs. I, I gave my sister um, 
my old mouse and keyboard, so I don't have my spares with me, which I would literally just scoot everything back and then just put the spares up top. But I'm going to seriously hope I don't mess up my audio again, which will require me to unplug my mic once more. So far, looking at the uh, mouse, it doesn't know what's going on. Being ever so gentle, not wanting to move anything. Okay, so mouse and keyboard. It's been a long time since I've messed with this. That is not the one that I wanted. That is not the one that I wanted. Xcopy brings you back here. It's not exactly what I wanted to see. Um, is there a way to lock that? Cap? No? Shift? Hold? No? Spacebar? No? You see, you should just be, okay, tapping it. Reset it. There we go. But now to go to settings. Okay, you're able to go through here and shuffle. Okay. How many is it skipping by? Just the one? See, mouse and keyboard, it does make it nice to switch around. And then, hold on, where's the filters? Filters is up in the D-pad, but it's also a tap right here. Is there a way to actually do that? Where is the back? Scuffy? Okay. So for filters, I would love to be able to bring up my settings. That's backspace. And Xcape to go back. But I want my settings. Okay, Nunlock. There we go. So for Nunlock, for those of you who don't know, um, Nunlock, you have your little number pad on the right side. Uh, alternate variant should be... Not there. Okay, so Nunlock acts as your D-pad. That is definitely nice to see, though. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go heavy. We're going to go to... Uh, you know, I guess uh, turn 9 wouldn't be too bad to play with some... It wouldn't be too bad. And then X should just be X. There we go. That's nice. And then we got B. So actually, let's go X, B. So X copy is always the same. Gonna tap Y right here. Nice. Uh, scroll wheel. That is highly responsive. I like that. Okay. So, ammunition. Ooh, that's nice. You can just tap on it. Scop it. Okay, thank you. Um, still, one more thing. When do we go back to the main menu here? Uh, pause paging. Invite. Clearly, my controller is not being touched. My controller is right here. i bring up the menu. Where is the mouse? Oh. Okay, so it just didn't register. That was... I don't know about you guys, that was weird. Uh, settings. Setting. Okay, thank you. Uh, in reverse. Okay, backspace. Uh, display. Uh, next ammo. Five. Alright, let's actually do this. Five. Okay, nice to see. Cycle gun. Okay. Nice, we got number two. Activate consumable number three. What do you mean by cycle gun, though? That is very confusing. So we got zoom, left shift, zoom, hold, toggle, hold. On shift. So we should be able to actually change this ourselves. Zoom, toggle. Scroll. Is it not going to work for scroll? I guess we can try that out whenever we're inside the match and see how it goes from there. Other than that, I'm going to mess around with this a little bit, and then um, I will come back to you guys in a moment. Okay, hello and welcome back. Well, I'm welcome back. Um, so, one thing I wanted to show off. Uh, we have uh, ammo. Where the heck did it go? It was here. Next ammo. Down here at the bottom left, and then we have previous ammo up here at the top right. This is not linked to anything. You can actually button map every single one of these. However, I disagree with this. Next ammo and previous ammo should be right next to one another, because this is just confusing. You got bottom left and you got top right. Like, why are they so far apart? These are two things that essentially you want mapped out right next to one another. Um, more than likely, we're going to be playing a tank that... You know what? 705A doesn't sound too bad to play with mouse and keyboard. I think 705A would be a perfect example to show it off. Plus, it's a, it's a bit more comfortable of a tank. We can actually play around inside of it a little bit. Uh, team chat, left control... So left control, bottom left control, and then we're going to try out the team chat as well, but we're actually going to relink this to Y. 
because uh, moving bottom left with my pinky kills me because I got freaking chunky fingers. And uh, like to give you guys an idea, I think the best example I can do is this. That's my mouse in my hand. I've got some big boy chonkos. And it, I don't like the fact that my RGB is going off on it like crazy. So, yeah. And then zoom hold, uh, zoom toggle. So right here, I'm kind of wondering. Because we have it toggled and hold. So I'm a little bit confused on this. And then along with that, we have a uh, toggle camera. So I do just believe this is the zoom in and out. Uh, we're going to be using free sniper mode, which is a mouse and keyboard exclusive ability. And I kind of hope that in the match... It's fixed up a little bit. So, for instance, horizontal stabilization. I had a problem with this a long time ago. Um, I actually want to put a little bit of clarity on this. Horizontal is left and right of your screen, your view. So, whenever you zoom in and you rotate your tank left or right with this on, your gun tries to stay on target in front of you the entire time. It's a setting I recommend to leave on. However, with mouse and keyboard, two years ago, trying to use it, it actually locked your vertical stabilization. Vertical stabilization is your up and down axis. So for instance, lock your turret, you drive slightly up a hill, and your gun stays locked in at that gun depression the entire time. So the, the hope is, is that we don't need to turn this off or need to remove free sniper mode. This is actually one thing I kind of do hope that they fixed. And I'm a bit excited to try out. Uh, music volume always turned down. I'm a little bit sad because I'm going to be playing with no game volume because me being the Muppet, um, my audio control is actually on my PC. And currently I have nothing to scroll with. So that's going to be fun. Other than that, let's go ahead and start diving into some gameplay here and uh, probably get absolutely shredded. But that's completely fine. This is a complete testing run. And immediately already found a bug with mouse and keyboard. Uh, I'm trying to select my filters here. Mm, okay, so we're activating and deactivating heavy. We're activating that. What about the 10? So for the tiers, it's not working. That's actually a good thing to show off. The uh, line's not working. Let's actually see if we can use uh, the nun lock, which, once again, is not wanting to do it. Uh, I guess the solution is hello controller. Oh, it's all reversed. My controller's upside down. Oh, I should probably put this on my lap. Oh my gosh. And even though we got the controller up, it's still broken. <laughs> clear filter. Heavy. Tier 10. Okay. I had to full on clear, clear the filter just to make that work. That sucks. Okay. Uh, map toggle. Nice. Uh, F7 to rotate. It's nice to see that this works. Okay, and it's time to go. Excopy. So you actually have to press M twice to make that go away. That's nice to know. And off to glorious combat we go. It's nice to see the consumables are working. That goes off. Nice, nice, nice. And then four. Five, four, five, four, four, five, five, four, four, five, five. Sorry. Uh, that's the buttons I haven't mapped to. R for auto drive. Thing is about mouse and keyboard is, uh, one thing I don't like about it is how whenever you're driving, you can't exactly uh, give a little bit of throttle to like slightly pull forward at like a lower speed to get a better precise shot to make your bloom stay in. So this uh, white out bloom is something you have to deal with with mouse and keyboard. It would be nice to see them add in a function where there's like three different speed levels that you can assign to the button like the R, got to click it three times in a row to get it to go full speed or hold it to toggle it at full speed. That would be nice. Uh, so far, I do not see that back. But yes, button mapping does work. Um, one thing that someone mentioned to me the other day was that button mapping does not save when you quit the game. So after this match, I'm going to quit out the game, I'm going to reload the game, and we're going to see if my button mapping stays or if it disconnects completely. And just to be completely safe that I don't have any problems whenever testing this, I'm actually going to full on quit out the game, make sure quick resume completely shuts off, and then I'm going to turn off the Xbox and unplug it. And I'm going to try and power cycle it while it's unplugged. That way we get a complete power drain, plug it all back in. That way I've done a basically a complete full reset. That way uh, I can actually see what it might be doing. Okay, let's go ahead and try this out. One thing I can say though, mouse and keyboard, 
you do get a lot better precision controls whenever it comes down to the movement. That is one thing I do like about mouse and keyboard. And then, uh, yes, Centurion VREs. We love those. Super sad that we're recording with those in the matches. I hate those things so much. Uh, nice. So we get drive locked. We're actually going to back up, hit this rock right here, and see if we can get some shots in that uh, T-5042. We're going to be really nice and put a heat round through his turret. No, we're not going to drive with that rock. I'm a freaking Muppet. There we go. So, question is, how did we... How did I auto-lock him? Was it a uh, left tap? Is... No? It is left click. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, okay. For me, personally, I think I might do a swap on the settings for the ammunition, just because for me... I'm running into one little problem. Actually, we're just going to go head to head. Hey, how you doing? Whoa, free cam's uh, funky. What, why is it so low? That is not on the gun. Why is it going so low? Okay, free cam is really difficult to aim with. Plus, my wire is a little bit off, so i got to fix that real fast. Keep in mind, if I was on controller, this would go a lot better. But look at that. Immediately goes down. Now we can zoom in. Take the time. Pin his gun mental, because it's only 236 millimeters right there. He's not shooting us. I wonder why. Is it because he's not going to pin? You could essentially just, like, splash the crap out of us. I mean, I could have loaded heat rounds and pinned his cheek. But not going to be that mean. This is testing. Not playing aggressive. Uh, Astron Rex. I'm really not a big fan of how low that camera was in the free cam. Then again, we don't have a lot of people that use mouse and keyboard unless you're Blade. Blade uses mouse all the time, so I actually might ask for his input tomorrow. Look at this. That is really weird. I wonder if this will play against you whenever you're trying to use actual gun depression against somebody. Because here we go. We're going to lock the turret. Or locking it will help. No? Okay, it still rotates with us. Now we try locking the turret. I'm going to pop that one. We're going to back up. We're going to get shot from our right and our rear. We're going to get shot from everywhere. That's a TL7. And I'm also not used to the controls. They're playing against me just a little bit here. playing in reverse. It's really weird. It's 5 to 7. And I'm feeling a little bit funky about this. So to give you guys an idea, you see where the gun's aiming right now? We're going to aim up high. We're going to zoom in. It locks with it. We're going to zoom in right here. And now... Oh, that might be the issue. Okay. I think I know what it might be. So where the mouse is aiming is where you're going to try and zoom into. I do believe that might actually be the issue. A load of HE. Now we're going to go back to AP. We're going to be awesome. Put that into him. We get shot by the TL7. Get some premium rounds. We're going to get hit by HE from uh, this guy. Yeah. 705A. Absolute monstrosity frontally. Until you get hit by HE. And a lot of it. Season of HE. No one likes it. Alrighty. It is a little bit strange, though, with the uh, button mapping on all the ammunition. I really don't want to pull up until we know this guy's caught out. But I might have to play a little bit aggressive here with my 41 hit points remaining. Uh, it would be cool to get some HE. So I think whenever your camera's aiming low, you're going to zoom in as low as it can possibly go. And yeah, I kind of think that's what it's doing. Turret still doesn't lock. Locking it. Zooming in. Holding the lock. You can see that turret rotated with us. That is something that should be fixed, but has never been fixed. Two years later. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I got a feeling that TL7 is going to... Yep. There he is. Yeah, that felt great.
Now it's time to unplug it. You have no idea how awkward it is to unplug something that costs 500 bucks while it's like in the middle of turning off entirely. Um, alright, so far, I haven't had any issues. Except for the aiming, which I think it's like wherever your cursor is hovering over, it locks onto that instead. Uh, so if you're going to be using mouse and keyboard, make sure you aim up at the turret first with a cursor and then zoom in. Uh, or turn off free sniper cam um, for close quarters combat. I see that this plays against us in CQB, so it gives me an idea like what blade experiences. And uh, yeah, that, that, that gives me an idea now. Blade, fix your crap, because I'm telling you now, that, that free aim, it's nice. It would be so much nicer if it worked properly, but it is what it is. Uh, I think it's time to plug it back in and then turn it back on. I still really want to find out how to access the menu through the keyboard, so I'm, I'm going to be messing around with that a little bit to try and find out what key it is to access the frickin' keyboard to go into the menu from the menu. Because if you need a controller to do it, that's going to be kind of dumb. Right? Okay, so for anyone wondering, mouse and keyboard, it is F1 to access your menu. Um, <laughs> be nice if that was labeled somewhere in the settings. Because uh, I don't see anywhere here saying that F1, or if you come back to the main menu, there is nowhere with the hitting it. You still have game modes, boosters, pausing, all with the controller layout invite, all with the controller layout. You have LB, RB with the controller layout. And you can clearly see I'm using my mouse right now. So it's kind of like F1 is how to enter your menu. Okay, back in the settings, um, everything looks exactly the way that I left it. The cycle gun, however, I don't remember leaving it on there. We're actually going to do that in 6, because I actually wonder what cycle gun is. Scratch that. Cycle gun did reset because it was on 6 to begin with. You know what? I think cycle gun might actually be the multi-weapon system that's in the game. You know what? The only way to test that is, actually, rather than the M48... We're going to go E100 with the... Uh, I do think I got the big boy gun in the E100. Or I was playing it earlier today. That is, in fact, yes, the big boy. So we still have the advanced reload. Uh, we dropped the optics on this to be able to get it. And, uh, yeah, this might be the way to go. Uh, original one-year mark. Both sides. One-year anniversary. Um, okay. Sorry. Something felt a little bit off. F1... Uh, stats, game options. Uh, you can switch back. Uh, I don't really care about that. Uh, I have to use the freaking button. Oh. Toggle zoom. No, we want toggle zoom on. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I did. was that on or off? <gasps> I can't remember. Okay. this We're, we're just going to call this good. Uh, enter. There we go. Nice. Arctic region. However, there's one thing I wanted to look at. Push to talk. Where's why? 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 I assigned why. I did. It was for the team chat. Left control. It did reset. Okay. So, uh, the five and the four. Four was never assigned, but now that it's assigned and saved. However, my chat did reset. Actually, we're going to hold Y. Do we have to use the analogs? Do we have to use WASD? Uh, E and Q. So, we're going to Tap Y, have to tap and hold E and Q. However, we cannot use that system. Now for six, okay, six is going to cycle the gun. That means that we can swap ammunition even when we're holding the button here. Nice to see. However, one of the most awkward things is I have to hold Y. And even inside this menu, I'm pressing 4, 8, 6, and 2 with none lock off. None lock is now on. It's still not working. Uh, WASD, none of this is working. Hover the map over the cursor. It is not hovering or lighting any of these up. So your communication will is essentially useless. That is nice. And uh, from what I checked last... Nothing in the settings tells you how to use it, and there's no guides that you can read on how to use it. Um, I actually might buy a separate mouse and keyboard now just to play with it for a few weeks on a, on this and give my feedback in the wargaming, telling them what they can do to try and fix the mouse and keyboard problem. 
now that I'm playing with it. Because it's been a minute, so I think uh, that might be the goal. Play with mouse and keyboard for a little bit. Uh, he's got 50 million rings of side armor. You know what, let's actually try and go for that hatch. One thing about mouse and keyboard, though, is that aiming. Hold on, how far down are we? Okay, gun is aiming at the rock there. How low is the camera? That's my question. So, rock line up here. Let's lock the gun there. Our camera is coming out of, like, that little viewport. Right there. It's coming out of that little viewport. We are so much lower than the gun. This is awkward. Free aim should be aligned with the gun. But it's not. Actually, another way to test this out would be to come to a stop. Zoom in. We're going to take a random blind fire. Actually, we're going to load an HE right here. Yeah, you see how high that shell came from up above? That feels weird. So, something tells me, even if you were to zoom in on somebody in close quarters combat, since you're placed lower, and you're not actually seeing through your gun, it's going to be almost near impossible to get overmatch shots from CQB, close quarters combat, and face hugging. Uh, and then, clearly, our gun can lock onto the target. However, since our camera placement is so much lower, that is super bad. <gasps> They broke the free cam once again. And by the way, Borask, I'm so sorry if you watch my channel, Commander Clink. I am testing. I hope you understand that uh, I did not intentionally mean to do this to you. But we do have a heat round for you. 748. Probably going to switch the camera back now that I know it's placed so freaking low. Free sniper can off. Actually, hold on. Sniper can back on. Zoom in right here. Horizontal stabilization. Horizontal is holding. I don't know if vertical is working or not. We're aimed at the highest we can see. I understand this is in the middle of a match and we're not even participating inside the game and we're watching our team fall apart. This is a big deal though. We're going to zoom all the way down. Actually, let's center out our gun. We're going to follow this. We're going to lock our gun. Okay, so... Once again, we have the same problem. Vertical synchronization is still not in effect. However, horizontal is. Horizontal is your left and right. Whenever we traverse the turret, it stays locked in. However... You can see the gun aiming down. I am not touching the mouse. Your vertical stabilization is not working. It's actually playing against us. So yes, we're actually going to turn off the free sniper mode. Zoom back in to give you guys a better idea. We are locked down. We're going to drive forward. Now you see horizontals in place and the gun is staying at the same level the entire time because vertical synchronization is kicking in to hold the gun there. That is what I like to see. However, free cam is still broken. And it's been broken for a very long time. We're going to put 112 in the hem. We're going to back off. It is 7 to 11. And I'm so sorry, team, that I played like uh, the worst player you've ever seen in your life. But you know how it goes. They're not super testing this. So we have to test it in public queues. And since I have no one on, it's not like I can stop and send somebody a message saying, Hey, I want to go in a private match? No, everyone's passed out. It's 1.40 in the morning. Everyone is definitely passed out. Uh, hello. We all love you. I hope you know that. One thing is, if a Centurion AVRE is aiming at you and over the front, you can put a heat round through their forehead. But the thing is, the second that they get one degree of gun depression, you can no longer put a round through their forehead. Uh, just a little bit of a tip and heads up. However, turning off the free sniper cam, which is literally one of the features that makes mouse and keyboard have such an advantage, the um, experience is actually a lot better. Definitely a lot better. Without a doubt, a thousand times better. Uh, we're going to pull on this uh, unsuspecting victim. We're going to beat down straight to the top of his... Uh, 
Paul, we're going to get pinned in the lower place. No, we're not. Okay. Um, RNG just played against him. I'm so sorry. Eh, okay. Yes, playing without mouse. Well, playing with mouse and keyboard definitely makes us awkward. Base is capped. 3,000 damage. Uh, yeah, 3,080. That's okay. All right, so I wish I had more time. Uh, but I would say that my time is essentially used up. I don't want to make this like an hour-long thing. Uh, more than likely, though, I will be buying another mouse and keyboard specifically just to be able to play it on console. Uh, currently, all of the problems that we had two years ago are still in the game. However, there's one problem that I wasn't able to test that more than likely I'll try it out tomorrow. And that is the view range, well, the gun depression cap off. So with the controller, well, actually with free camera, with the, f the free sniper cam, you're capable of um, pushing over and looking at a target below you, like extremely far below. Okay. Because, no, with the regular, with, without the free sniper cam on, you can aim all the way down. Okay. Because you're locked on through your gun. You're seeing through your gun. Your gun's in view. It's the standard controller. But with free sniper cam, I'm wondering if they still have its access limited to 20 degrees overall, which is the most that it's allowed to do, which is kind of one of the hindrance of mouse and keyboard and console with the free sniper cam. If you're going to be using mouse and keyboard, free sniper cam needs to be turned off because it's been broken for who knows how long. However, if that gun depression cap is still there, that's going to kill it like forever because I had to switch over to controllers just to be able to um, get shots and targets below me on the hill on Melanovka. If any of you guys want to test it, leave a comment down in the comment section. Um, other than that, Mouse and keyboard still has a couple of issues. Fingers crossed that um, they get it fixed up. More than likely, I'll be posting this video on the Watt Discord and hopefully it gets some attention. I mean, fingers crossed because they're never testing it inside the super test. And for crying aloud, it's been two years since I've done it, so I can't really say much about myself for doing it because it's not exactly a common thing. I have a controller, my mouse and keyboard's hooked up into my PC, but I guess I'll buy a separate set just to play on console and give that a go for a while. Other than that, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, seriously, leave a comment on this. I want to know your guys' opinion on them not fixing the free sniper cam in two years from the issues we had two years ago. Uh, a bit of laziness on their part, in my opinion, whatever it comes down to it. Not just that. It got worse. Your gun is... Your, your point of view is now lower than where the gun barrel is stabilized on the E100 and even the 705A. So who... Who's to say it's not in every single tank in the game? Um, yeah, great, fantastic. We have support for it, but it doesn't work properly unless you turn off the one feature that makes it an advantage. So, yep, you guys have fun. I'm out of here. I have to now plug everything back in and probably bump my XLR again and have everything freak out and to give you guys an idea, this is what happens.